Good morning, Tina Peters here, and uh, this is election day. I wanted you to get out and vote. Tell your friends and family to get out and vote. Elections have consequences. We're seeing the devastating consequences of the Biden administration. We're seeing the devastating consequences of human trafficking. We're seeing all because the, the elections, the elections are selections. And I'm going to get in and I'm going to change that narrative and change the the uh, security of our elections in Colorado. Just remember that Jenna Griswold is the Democrat Association of Secretary of State chair. She controls whatever is going on in the country. And we can, we've got to stop her. And I'm willing to do it. Get out and vote. We're going to overwhelm the system. We're going to take back our state. And ultimately, we are going to take back our country. Yeah, well, all those things didn't really work out for Tina Peters because she did actually lose last night. Um, now, she was a former county clerk out there in Colorado, and um, now she was running for Secretary of State. But she, again, she lost that. But she's also known for being a 2020 election denier and also uh, doing some illegal things with voting machines. Huh. Uh, but uh, this is what she was also famous for because we did cover this once they went to bust her. Let's watch. <laughs> That she was being dragged out by police officers, and apparently, um, they're not going to give her the key to the car, and they're also not going to let go of you. That's not. That's actually they're doing the opposite. The whole point of that. Let's jump on the graphic one because again, like I said, she lost last night. She's known for breaching voting machines, uh, because she's all about election fraud. Here's some irony for you. Indicted election denier Tina Peters loses her own election and denies that she lost. Tina Peters, it says down there, is it's not over, and she was down by fifth. Points. Um, here's another. Uh, uh, it's not even I- ironic at this point. This is expected. Mike Lindell has joined her cause in this entire thing with her losing her election. He says this: biggest fraud. We caught them. <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> is what Lindell, the my the my pillow mogul, frantically texted the Daily Beast late on Tuesday night, referring to the Peters race. We caught them in their fraud. Prison for Dominion. Prison for Dominion. Dominion's a company. <laughs> anyway, how the votes came in in real time, this is impossible is what he also continued more. So here's the ironic part, because as you point out, she was indicted on this whole thing. And then Mike Lindell, who's also getting sued by Dominion, is now standing up for it because that's a believable story. So this trouncing comes three months after she was indicted by a grand jury on 10 misdemeanor and felony charges stemming from her role in breaching of election machines in Mesa following the 2020 election. Also, she was a deputy. She and a deputy are accused of plotting to turn off security cameras and letting an unauthorized person access those machines. Information from which was published by conspiracy theorist Ron Watkins. Q. That's what's going on with Tina Peters, and she lost. And for some reason, she still thinks she can scream. You guys can't do this to me. Let me go. <laughs> you know, I, it's always a fun story whenever Mike Lindell is involved. I mean, this guy just doesn't have anything normal associated with him whatsoever. So it is fun to see him come out and just say, "We got him." Like, but, but how? Okay, because you're kind of leaving that part out, and to me, that seems like. The more important part of the story, rather than just <laughs> screaming at the top of your lungs, we got them. Cool, but what what do you, what do you got? You've had two different cyber symposiums now that Tina Peters, of course, has been involved in. You've had every possible opportunity. You have had courts begging you to turn over some kind of information to back up any of your claims, and you've repeatedly failed to do it. 
And the thing I love most about it is every time Lindell comes out and he mentions Dominion voting systems, it just makes it you know even more likely that he is going to lose this massive defamation lawsuit against him. And and Peters you know herself what the role she played in in taking the the voting machine and copying the data from it, you know it's important for everybody to remember that just actually not even a week ago it was last Friday Peters came out. And said that the person who encouraged her to do this, to breach the voting machine and copy the data, data that person is Lauren Boebert. Mm. That is what Tina Peters announced last week. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So, I you know, that. Boebert won her uh, primary very easily. But if Peters can finally produce some kind of evidence to back up anything she says, I hope it's the claim that Boebert told her to do it, because really that's the one. That we need to be looking at right now. So, uh, Peters, if you have any evidence at all to back up your claim about Bobert, now's probably the time to come forward with it before you end up in jail. You're running out of time. You know, when the thieves are on the back room counting their money, uh, and then somebody gets shorted by $15, they start turning on each other. <laughs> it's just what's happening. <laughs>